Okay, so now we're going to be molding the fuselage to the front wing. Uh, pretty easy process. So what we're going to be using is, this is a little jar of release wax that you can get with the wing glassing kit. This is a little bag of microfibers which also comes with the wing glassing kit. Now if you're using your own materials, you might already have some mold release, you might, a, might already have some microfibers or micro balloons will do the same thing. Um, if you don't have any release wax, you can also use chapstick, Vaseline, that, those are the only two I, I can kind of come up with on the top of my head, but it's basically any kind of waxy substance. Um, you might want to test something out beforehand to make sure if it works, but this is the stuff I like to use. It releases really easy, so this is what I'm going to be used in this demonstration. So basically we're going to be mixing up with the microfibers uh, some epoxy and it's going to be thick kind of like peanut butter consistency and then we're going to wax up the underside of the fuselage so nothing sticks to it. We're going to line everything up and then we're just going to place it right here and let that cure and then we're going to be able to peel this off, clean it up, sand down some of the excess that'll come out here and then your wing is going to fit really nicely into this fuchsia, into the fuselage spot here and it's going to make for a very sleek, great looking hydrofoil. One thing to keep in mind is when we mold the fuselage onto the wing, we're going to want it to be perp you know, a nice 90 degree angle, the wing coming in here. So in order to help us with that, instead of just eyeballing it, which can sometimes look accurate, but then later mm -hmm. out it's not correct, I'm just going to draw a couple guidelines. So. With this straight edge here, I'm just drawing a line across this cardboard. So that's going to be my reference for where I'm going to line up the back edge of this wing. And so my, for my reference with the fuselage, I'm just going to take a square and I'm just going to square this up and then draw, do the same thing draw a line going this way so I know that's 90 degrees and then to help out I'm just gonna draw another one so you can kind of see where I'm going with this uh, so, well. but, so this wing will be lined up there on that line so I can reference that. Now I've drawn two lines there and they're pretty wide. They're just a bit wider than the fuselage. So I can place the fuselage and then look over the top and check how I'm spaced and make sure it's lined up. So that's why uh, you can use two lines. It just makes things just a bit easier. And so those are going to be our reference lines for when we actually uh, put the epoxy in and it's just going to help us line everything up. So just kind of quick and easy and it uh, helps out a lot. Okay, so I'm going to wax up the fuselage first. Now I've already done it a few times with this piece. So I can kind of you can see there's a little bit of wax in there. But that's kind of the first step. So you're going to want to take some wax and just make sure you plug up each of the holes here where the bolts go into. Um, you don't need a lot, just kind of pack a little bit in there just to be sure. Okay, once you get those plugged up, just kind of put a, a pretty thick layer around the whole part. Um, and I find it kind of helps, like don't just do the surface that you're going to be molding against, kind of, you know, do the whole thing all the way to the front, all the way up the top. Um, all this stuff you can, it'll, it'll kind of dry a little white, but then you can just take it off with a little sponge, it comes right off, um, really no problem. So, yeah, just kind of coat the whole front end of this here, and, um, you want it thick, but you don't want it so thick that it gets a little sloppy. So I'm going to clean up these corners real quick. 
And yeah, that's looking just about where you want it right there. So that is all you got to do. So I have some epoxy mixed in and now I'm just going to slowly add some microfibers until I get the right consistency. Uh, you're going to want to add them slow, just a little bit at a time because if you add too much and it gets too thick, you kind of just got to throw the whole thing out because it's a lot easier to add more fibers than it is to add more epoxy. You really can't just add a little bit more epoxy because you'll throw off your mixture ratio and you won't get a good cure. So just kind of slowly put in the microfibers. And just to you know reiterate, I've already lined up my wing alongside that guideline that we made earlier and my fuselage is already waxed up with the release so once I get this mixed up I'm um, go going to be ready to go so this is just about the consistency you're going to want it's stain on this popsicle stick I can kinda of shake it off a bit so that's about where you're going to want it. So I'm going to put this aside and now pretty much all you got to do is just take a whole bunch of this and just goop it down onto the wing. Now you don't want a lot up in the front. You're going to want a little bit more down in this curve area because you need to fill that void. So I'm going to make sure there's plenty down there and a little bit up in the front I'm going to save a little extra in here okay now you're just going to take the fuselage and line it up now we're just going to kind of just flop it over you want to kind of push down, not too hard, but squeeze out a little bit of the excess. And then uh, one thing to keep in mind is you do have to wedge something underneath the back end of the fuselage to because it lifts up in the front here and you don't want it hanging down in the back. That'll create a, an angle of attack on the wing. So you want it to be flat and level. So I just kind of shimmed it with a couple pieces of wood here. It's about maybe a centimeter high, but you can see from back to front, it's just evenly lifted off the cardboard. So yeah, you can just kind of use whatever you have laying around just to level that out. But keep that in mind. Kind of get overhead and make sure everything is lined up. The wing is on the line, I'm looking over the top at the reference line, and the fuselage is lined up nicely. And so now I'm just going to kind of scrape away all the excess here and save it. And you can see there's a little bit down here on the cardboard, that's fine. Uh, we're just going to rip this off anyways and then separate and that will get cleaned up in the final sand. And so I'm going to do the same to the other side, clean it up. Okay, so zoomed in here you can see there's a little bit on the fuselage but that will come off. Like I said, we already waxed this up. But you can see that that is nicely filled and it's the same on the other side. So that's pretty much it. And that's it. We're just going to let this cure and then we're going to pop it off the wing. Okay, so it's now been several hours and you can see that the mold release wax has dried kind of like a frosty white, greenish color. And now we're just going to take the fuselage off. We're going to, you know, demold it, I guess. We're not really molding, but. Uh, we're forming so it's really this one's pretty easy sometimes yeah just a couple shakes and off it comes I mean sometimes you kind of have to you know put a hand here and, and really and pull off um, so don't be worried if that's the case for you but this one came off pretty easy because we 
uh, kind of laid it up pretty heavy. Um, now one thing to keep in mind again is now we have mold release wax here. There's some wax here. We just want to be careful where we're touching our wing. We got to keep that final finish in mind. You don't want to be getting wax on parts of this wing and then you know going to put that final coat on it's, it's going to cause finish problems so just be mindful i'm going to go change my glove out but just quickly you can see so there we have it um you know that's molded perfectly yeah now i'm just going to clean this up and um then we're just going to be on to the final finish so i'm probably just going to take some sandpaper run that down yeah, just a sandpaper and a block, and I'm just going to work from there and uh, really clean this up, clean this, this edge up here too, you know, bring it in tight to that edge, and then that's it. It's going to fit perfectly into that fuselage. And also, if you just run this under some hot water with a, uh, a sponge and some soap, I mean, that stuff's going to come right off and clean up real nice, and then you can kind of pick that stuff out.